Guys, I'm here in Eritrea, Osmara. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just got here. Flight came in around three. Uh, I waited about three, four hours. No, about two, three hours because I plan to walk to the city center, which is about a uh, 45 minute walk. And I'm gonna explain why I'm not catching a taxi. I don't know if you guys can see, got the taxis. People are waiting. I'm gonna pass all of this. So Wi-Fi is pretty much from what I heard is uh, non-existent, except for in a few hotels. Okay, so I'm heading to a hotel right now and I'm using Google Maps offline. So it's 14 minute drive, but I think it's a 45 minute walk and that's the hotel I'm headed to. Okay, we got the sunrise. I thought I was gonna be by myself walking. Check this out. <laughs> somebody riding a bike to the right, somebody jogging. I don't know if they're uh, walking to the city center or just getting exercise, but I'm not by myself. Another point is the currency situation. So from what I've researched, bank cards don't work here. Credit card, debit card, it's a cash society. The problem with that, at least for me, is that I used up a lot of cash when I was in Algeria. I don't have as much cash with me right now for this Eritrea trip, so I'm trying to save as much as I can, at least in the beginning, just so I don't run out too quickly. So that's why I don't want to catch a taxi. I can, but 45 minute walk is not that bad for me. And one last thing I want to bring up is that it's freezing cold. It's, it's cold, man. I thought East Africa, was gonna be a lot warmer. Maybe it's the time of year I visited. Maybe it's because this city is uh, at a high altitude, but it's it's freezing, man. Same experience I had when I visited Kenya. When I got there, I'm thinking it's gonna be hot, humid, but it was it was freezing. And Nairobi, no different here. So. <sighs> Quick update, went to the hotel and everything was booked. And oh man, I didn't think that was gonna happen because this place isn't really that that touristy, at least from what I, I read online. So yeah, and that's the hotel I really want to stay in. But she said there might be an availability, an availability later. I'll have to wait until checkout time, which is like six hours from now. But in the meantime, I'm gonna do some hotel shopping. I'm just gonna check out a, a few other ones in the area. One, just to waste time, and two, to see if maybe there's a better deal. Maybe there's a, a hidden gem. Okay, I had passed it up. Should be open. Sunshine Hotel. Let's check it out. Guys, guys, I think everything happens for a reason. The apartment, they had availabilities. I'm about to show you in a second. They have Wi-Fi. I haven't checked the Wi-Fi yet. Um, they have hot water. So as soon as you step in, simple standard room, bed right here. Bathroom. Work area, TV, I'm not gonna use that. I like this, multiple. I forgot what you call this, extension cord, multiple outlets, I forgot what you call it. And then we have a balcony area. Let me open this up. And here goes Osmara right here, guys. For this hotel, I only booked it for two nights. Just, I wanna test it out. If everything goes A-OK -okay tonight, I'm just gonna book this hotel for the whole trip. So I'm taken care of. But I'm gonna test it out tonight, make sure everything is good. Make sure I, I don't get bit at night. Make sure, well, the Wi-Fi is probably not gonna be the greatest, but it's okay. Just make sure everything's A-OK. -okay. I just logged into the Wi-Fi and here we go. It's been doing this probably for about two minutes. So safe to say that probably not gonna have internet. Fast forward, we're back on the streets. Took a nice little, little two, three hour nap. Now I'm headed to go make an, hello. Now I'm going, now I'm here to go make an exchange. Excuse the voice again, I just woke up. 
check out the scenery. It's very chill here, very chill. As I stated earlier, I'm gonna show more other videos. Again, I'm still just getting settled in. And I will say it did warm up. Earlier it was freezing cold. Now it's pretty much perfect. Sunny out with the breeze off. Oh, I guess they sell coffee right here. Maybe, maybe not. And pass. Yeah, and everyone, hey, I need to get a bike. All right, guys, just made the exchange. All the exchange spots are left side, strong side, right over there. And I don't know if I talked about this, but the dollar is pegged. So it's one, I think it's NAFCA. I'm gonna get, I have to get the currency right. I didn't look it up. I think it's NAFCA. One NAFCA to, no, one US dollar to 15 NAFCA. Okay, and it doesn't change. So when I went to the exchange place, it was exactly that. It wasn't, it wasn't a surcharge or anything like that. So one NAFCA to one US dollar to 15 NAFCA. And right now, head into the supermarket. Guys, I'm in the supermarket or mini supermarket. Here goes the wine for all the alcoholics out there. I think uh, Asmar has their own beer. Different snacks, goodies. Let me put this back. Yeah, they have many supermarkets here. Right, I think that's it. Okay, and then you have uh, you have some hygiene products, some other things. Vaseline right there. If you need a backpack. Some rice, brown rice. And up front are the fruits and vegetables. Okay. Look like I'm gonna be staying right here. Let me see if I can. I'm gonna see if there's like a, a larger market that everyone goes to, or if they're mainly the mini ones, kind of grab and goes. Still on the move. The place I was just at, it was a, a small shop, kind of like this one. The person working the shop told me that there's a larger one if I keep walking straight near one of the markets. So that's where I'm headed to right now. Should be straight ahead. All right, just finished purchasing some items. One of the workers spoke some English, shout out to him. Let me show you real quick. Some soap, toothpaste, water, some juice right there. Yeah. Yeah, they have a ton of different markets. Juice, drinks, snacks, cornflakes. Yeah, many different stuff. Hey, hello. And then uh, inside here, I think they have fruit market. You get a, or um, not fruit market, vegetables. Hey, how's it going? Hey, nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, friendly, friendly people. Everyone has been kind. So. And I uh, always talk about this as far as the English level for the English speakers out there. Yeah, everyone has uh, spoke some English. So if you want to buy some bananas, which is what I'm about to do. And just got some bananas. They have a huge mosque right over there. We're gonna get into some of the architecture and all that good stuff. So, but since I'm here, let me just show you this. I don't think the dominant religion here is Islam. I could be wrong, I'm pretty sure it's, we'll get into it in another video, but the mosque is right there. So I said, let me just go ahead and show you guys that. Damn, wow. Yeah. Thank very... you very much. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I have seen my picture. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Okay. Oh, any? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, follow you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then you can choose. Okay. Yeah. All right. Look at this beauty. Oh, you got this side. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, look at that, guys. Yeah. And you have all of this. Oh, yeah. This place is a lot larger uh, inside. Oh yeah, I think this is the lady who makes the coffee right here. 
Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. She's gonna whip the coffee. Getting a tour of the place. Oh, okay. Oh, it's more privacy. Yeah. Yeah, very romantic. They have the couple. Yeah, yeah. No one, no one will see what you guys do. Oh, guys, the food just came. Got the uh, vegan, vegetarian option right here. Mix, okay. Lentils, rice. rice. All right, thank you. Need to get my veggies in. When I was in Algeria, I wasn't eating that much vegetables, mainly uh, sweets and some other stuff. So I said, when I get here, I gotta gotta get the veggies in. Just like many cultures, it's customary, what well, is normal to eat with your hands. So I wash my hands already for those who are gonna comment that. And then, uh, oh wow, there's more. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a lot. Okay. Thank you. Oh, man. I didn't know I ordered all of this. I did not know, but we'll make it work. Supposed to eat with mainly with your right hand, like this, but it's too difficult for me right now. It's gonna take too long, so I'm just gonna use both hands. No, now you're fine. Yeah, you spicy. Only, you're spicy. Yeah. Oh, I like spicy. Yes. Okay. Oh, fork. Oh, no. Nah. nah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, she said this is spicy, so we're gonna dig into this first. I can't tell if it's focused, but look at this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's called teff bread. This is a very healthy grain, sort of like a Ethiopian sourdough bread. Uh oh, got the insects coming now. I gotta hurry up. Oh, guys, I, I tried. I couldn't finish all of it. I, I They took the plate already, but I finished that. The the chicken meal and then this right here. It's a lot. Look at this. Look at my arm. Uh, I can't fit it all in my stomach. Look, at that. Look how big this, this plate is. Yeah, okay. So, uh, couldn't devour it, but definitely delicious. And we're going to check out the price in a second. And the total came up to 342 342 right there but I'll put the actual uh, price in the video but I'm going with $20 oh we guys oh man food was food was delicious my stomach is uh I don't know if you can see oh it's poking out got the bananas right here still shout out to the racist listening yes I do love bananas I don't care what you say I love bananas and let's check out the architecture but uh we're gonna Gonna end the video right here. As I stated earlier, when I filmed this video, I got off the plane around three o'clock in the morning. It took about an hour to get through passport control. Then I waited at the airport for like another two hours. Then I walked to my apartment. I mean, to my hotel, the first hotel. They didn't have any availabilities. So then I walked to another hotel, stayed there. What did I do after I took a quick nap? Got up, went to the supermarket, finished off at the restaurant. And yeah, here we are. So that was it, super chill video. We're definitely gonna explore more. Definitely gonna try to get more into the, the culture, talk to a little bit more people. It's just, today I'm, I'm just out of it. But I, I did wanna film some footage. But anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Just a super chill video. As far as my first day here in Eritrea. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end it. I'm gonna catch you guys at the next one. Deuces.